guys happy Sunday I wanted to come on here and do a really quick video for you guys I um you guys all know I'm on a natural hair journey I have been 11 months in a week of being natural my one-year anniversary comes up in three weeks May 22nd and um, everything that I've learned about my hair I have people ask me questions about hair Everything that I've learned about my hair is research. I transition for eight months before I big chop, or I should say before I cut off my process or relaxed ends. So my hair has never been colored, has never been bleached, dyed, no rinse. Um, even when I was relaxed, and right now it's 100% no chemical process altering my curl pattern or anything of that nature. Um, so I, again, I have been learning about my hair and finding out stuff about hair and the health of hair and different things to try and porosity and density and hair typing and curl pattern and all I know is that my hair is natural. I seriously have diff my hair in the, like, from my ears back, this chunk all the way in the back is one completely different texture. This hair in the middle is a completely different curl pattern and texture. My driest part of my hair is right here. It's, it, it's just like that much, but it's like right there because just a row over, it's like something completely different. But so people ask me, what's my hair? It's hair. It's natural and it's hair. I don't know if it's 3A, 4A, 4B, 4C, it's hair. It's natural. It's kinky, curly, wavy, and shrinks. <laughs> so that's all you guys need to know. But before I talk too damn long, oh my God, I talk so much. Anyway, I'm going to do a little experiment. I don't know if you guys have heard of maximum hydration. It's pretty popular. It's really hot now. It's basically for people that have color treated or dry hair or kinky, coily hair. But from what I learn, it's really for people that have a hard time retaining moisture within their hair. And their hair tends to be dry and just crispy and it's not moist and it, it doesn't feel good in their hands. Now, and it's also for people that have low porosity hair. All that stuff, maximum hydration, porosity, density, you guys could find out more details about it on YouTube. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do is the maximum hydration test or method for a week, seven days straight. I will insert a picture of all the products that I'm going to be using in my hair for the next seven days. And basically for the next seven days, I am going to be re-moisturizing, doing clay mask, doing apple cider vinaigrette, doing baking soda mask, um, and treatments. For my hair for the next seven days so every day I will be taking transformation or, or or progression pictures as the day goes along so this is what I'm starting with this is my hair um with this is a twist out so it's already a curl within the pattern of my hair so what I'm gonna do is take a picture of my hair um, looking like this and then I'm going to take a picture of my hair when I put the product in and just the transformation of how everything is going to go. The process of this is for me to give my curls a little bit more oomph, a little bit more pop and also to give my hair more moisture because even though my hair looks cute and it feels silky soft, it's dry a lot, especially that little spot like right there it's so crispy it's so dry um and i'm only going to be doing this process for the first seven days because they recommend you do it for the first seven days and then after they recommend you do it um step one through five every other day but i'm not going to be doing it every other day because i don't want to put that much manipulation to my hair on a regular basis and I figure for the week to really get that hydration in is a good start and then what I'll do is just tweak it to suit me to suit my needs and I'll probably do the process maybe once a month 
or I'll probably do step one through five once a month. Um, and it will be like every, yeah, once a month. I don't need to be doing it every day. I like to keep my hair and twist out and just let it run wild Friday through Sunday when I wash my hair again. So that's it. And every day I'll do a video just letting you guys know how my hair feels, if I feel any difference in the moisture. I think after 11 months of playing with my hair plus eight months of transitioning, I kind of have a pretty good idea what my hair likes um, and you know how it how it should feel good yet versus not good or worse so yeah that's it um thanks guys and i'll be sharing my journey with you all and hope you guys watch um thank you and have a good day bye